Alright, this is carcass number, or bird number three, from the given to me for necropsy late on the evening of uh, the 27th, it's now the 28th. Uh, I think this is a wild free flying bird. We can see that this bird is not nearly as skinny as the previous ones but has lost a fair bit of weight in the pectoral muscles. We can see that the abdomen is concave, not bulging. We can see that the bird is mature, that the feathers around the head are okay. Um, and that there's no obvious wing injury there. There's no obvious wing injury there. Feet are in, or in order and the plumage is in order. So the bird has died over a period of a few days to a, a week. Um, right, we're just going into the, the crop and throat lining here. Right, so we've got the windpipe, we've got the vagus nerves coming down on the windpipe there, those pale thin lines. And we're looking at the lining of the crop, which is uh, looking okay to my eye. Now, so the next thing is to find out what's going on in this abdomen. So we have to Make a cut around here. That's the way I do it quickly. Right, air sac membranes are clear. So this is a different cause of crunch through the bones, crunch through the pectoral area. Come around here. And Here, air sac membranes are okay, probably not chlamydia. Most cases of chlamydia, the air sac membranes are cloudy, thickened, or whatever. The, let's get this part bent back and out of the way. Right. right, again, the intestines in this bird are quite dark. The liver is pale. Uh, so we've got the uh, heart, it's got a few little hemorrhages on it, or apparent hemorrhages. Lungs are, are congested pink, air sacs are okay, the, apart from this feather there. Uh, the liver looks a bit pale. Intestines are black, not normal. Gizzard is small and contracted. The stomach, the proventriculus part, the glandular stomach is looks like it's been bleeding there inside, on the inside lining, but it's got dark stuff in there. It's normally pale, you know, in most lorikeets. And we've got very dark intestines, but not the typical necrotic enteritis gangrenous ones. Right, uh, we didn't see what, no, the spleen is, is small. That's the spleen just there. And trying to see what sex the bird is. Right, female. Female birdie, she was just getting ready to start ovulating, but uh, hasn't been laying eggs by the look of it. Oviduct is not developed. Okay, so female, very dark intestines and some distension of the intestines, this pancreas loop, but the bird is, the carcass is fairly well decomposed, so won't be doing a whole lot of work in terms of microspecy 
and I'm not going to look for too many parasites and things, but I want to go, I want to know a little bit more about up here. So we're going to open up the, the stomach area and see what we find there. So I'm just cutting into the gizzard, going up into the or ventriculus, going up into the proventriculus, and it looks like there has been bleeding in this part. Black contents. Uh, all right. Make a smear there. Make a smear there. And I'll make a smear of of the lower bowel. And that's as far as I'll take that necropsy too. And the rest is micros a little bit of microscopy, but um, I won't give much more time to these post-mortems uh, in view of the fact that they're not fresh. Okay, but, uh, so there's <coughs> probably a hemorrhagic proventriculitis and um, something causing bleeding in the stomach region of the of of um, well, the three lorikeets, which is interesting. We don't know what it is yet.